With Phil continues March 20th. This is the Murray Springs Clovis site. Clovis is named for the paleoarchaeological uh, folks that lived here in North America. Uh, it's called Clovis because uh, the, for one of the first sites that were discovered that they think dates back to this uh, 11,000, 10,000 to 13,000 years ago uh, site was up in Clovis, New Mexico. Another famous one is Folsom. Folsom comes after Clovis, a little bit of overlap. And a couple of uh, archaeologists were out here on this, uh, another little canyon, Arroyo, Draw, whatever you want to call it, wash off of the San Pedro River. Now this is uh, about 5-10 miles north of the uh, Lehner, uh, Lehner Mastodon Kill site. And you look out here, I'm trying to show you, it's a little hard for me to see the uh, image here on the screen but uh, there's this sort of whitish layer out there that's what they call the black mat and they think that what happened was the the San Pedro River rose very quickly it's just a little bit uh, east of uh, Fort Huachaca and uh, this right here is what they're talking about the the dark layer Clayton clay black mat, and they think that algae started growing in there very much, a very thick layer of it after the uh, river flooded. Now this area is all desert now, but this is a riparian, riparian, riparian area near the uh, San Pedro River. I don't know if there's any water in the actual river, probably is a little bit, but uh, 13,000 years ago, this was all green, mammoths, mastodons, large ground sloths, large cats, all kinds of animals out here. And they have, just as the uh, mammoths were found at the spots just south of here, they could catch them here. As they believed right here that they caught Mammoths and bison, some people call them buffalo, right here because of the uh, evidence that's been found in the dirt, in the walls of the little ravines out here. Some things that can be dated, carbon dated. Again, once you get here, this one actually has signs. This one has all kinds of signs at it. Uh, but no signs directing you here. No signs on the road saying turn here to find Murray Springs site. You have to know where it is to be able to find it. Good news is if you want to come out here yourself, Google Maps has both of the sites, both the uh, Leonard and uh, this uh, Murray Springs ones uh, on Google Maps. Travels with Phil. Back to you.